Guys, it's B-Boy Romeo, and coming at you guys with another tutorial, side chair. Ready? Okay. Let's get started. Okay. Um, first off, you want to make sure you start off. I'm sorry. want to make sure you start off stretching your wrist, you know, because you don't want anything to mess up your wrist. You want to make sure you start off stretching your wrist. Make sure you do this for like five to ten minutes. Because you don't. Make sure you want to get all warmed up. Okay, make sure you stretch your wrist, make sure it's nice, comfortable, you don't want to hurt yourself doing this. Alright, second, you want to find a good stable position. Um, you want to find something at first to hold on to because you can start off holding on to the ground or a chair or a table or whatever to help you keep your balance. So yeah, um, another warning, um, be careful when you try this move because you don't want to injure yourself or you don't want to go too far and try doing something you're not ready for okay so make sure you know how to do uh, the cricket for at a, hold the cricket for at least five seconds like without a problem you know being able to go into the handstand or ever moves without that much problem moves that incorporate your wrist okay so first let me show you what the side chair looks like it looks like this base good um, so yeah, <laughs> I'll show it to you again. It looks like this. But yeah, so you can grab onto anything, but I want to start off with the floor because that's the most stable position and it'll help you get your balance. Okay, so what you want to do is place your whichever hand you be with most on, you know, your because some people right handed, left handed. Um, you want to place it on your side to your abdomen, on the side of your abdomen, about right here. Then, you want to use your other hand for support and kind of teeter-totter teeter -totter your body until you find a stable position. Not too close to the ground, not too high. So you want to do that. And maybe at first you're not able to hold it, so it's good. Don't try to rush it. Don't try to do one-handed until you're ready. So you want to go teeter-totter until at a good position. Then you want to slowly, you want to keep practicing that for, I'd say about two, three weeks. You know, build up the strength, getting your body used to it, get that muscle memory down. Um, and when you get that muscle memory down, you should be able to do it with no problems. And not necessarily no problems because for some people it takes longer, but yeah. So you're having it, yeah. With time, you should be able to slowly but surely lift off with no problems. But yeah. Okay, so you want to do that. And another thing that can help you with this is once you master or are able to go to one handed with no problem, try creating your own version. Like, try doing variation, moving your legs in different angles. Like, you can try doing basically just about anything. Really, you can change your legs and variations, crisscross them, do whatever, use it. Yeah. You can use it in various transitions, go from the side chair to the cricket. Yeah, there are very numerous things you can do with the side chair. So keep practicing, hold your own. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.